Good morning. I hope you are doing well. I am doing fantastic. I've had a huge weekend and I just pray that this few moments that we have together is going to be wonderful for you, productive, get your juices flowing inside so you have everything in order, all your chicks and chickens in a row for this week. It's uh, interesting how we just think to ourselves, well, I'm just going, here we go, another day, another day. But I want to challenge you, challenge you, okay, I would like to encourage you to think about your week instead of just today, Think about your entire week, at least just until Friday. Think to yourself, what do I want to accomplish by Friday? Because time is so short and time, <clears throat> time goes by so quickly. We don't have very much of it. So I want to share with you a beautiful uh, scripture that just popped in my head this morning that uh, I pray that it helps you in whatever you're facing, whether it's depression or confusion or you're just blah, you have the blahs and you just like, oh, everything is just here we go again. There's nothing ever new. Let me encourage you. Joel 2.23, <clears throat> be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. Rejoice. We're supposed to be people that are rejoicing every day and how many of us are rejoicing and how many of us are saying, oh, but here we go again. Rejoice in the Lord, your God. He's your God. Remember that your father created it all for he hath given you. He already hath given you the former rain moderately. Isn't that interesting? All the things in the past, the former things, moderately he gave you. And the latter rain in the first month. Oh, wait a second. He got uh, given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain. The rain. And we're supposed to have actual rain this week. I don't know if we're going to get it. but And he will cause to come down for you from heaven, I say, why not? All the rain every time. And, and whenever it rains, it's always a really good feeling inside of me. I don't know how you feel about rain, but I love the rain because it like washes away everything old in with the new. Sometimes some people are having more rain than they want in some places, but we won't go there right now. We're talking about the good rain that he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. I want you to just picture this. Be very simple with it. Don't try to take it prophetically into everything else. It could be meaning that people have said, oh, this means that, that means that. Let's just take it verbatim. He will cause to come down for you the rain. Okay, that's one kind of rain the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month, in the first month. I think that is so profound, so encouraging because this tells me that God has given us former rain just moderately, but now he is causing to come down for us his rain, his rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. I don't know if that speaks to you, but it really does speak to me how everybody seems to think, oh, it's over. God is coming. Yes, it is very soon that our Lord is coming because in Joel 2, at the very beginning, blow the trumpet in Zion Sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Somebody got upset when I said, oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know. I, I'm sorry if that offends anybody, but I say, oh my God, because he is my God. <laughs> I don't mean it in a negative way. I, it, to me, it's like awesome, you know, like, oh my 
God, my God, you know, so I don't mean it in a bad way. Forgive me if somebody's taking it, thinking that's cussing or something. I, I don't know, whatever. I can't please everybody. And I don't, I gave up trying a long time ago. A day of darkness and of gloominess. Well, I wanted to just say, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. Oh my gosh. Think, I'll say gosh. Think of that. The day of the Lord cometh. We all know what the day of the Lord is. Wow. For it is nigh. That means it is so close. And But we are not to stress out over it. We are to be rejoicing. We're to be looking up for our redemption draweth nigh. When you see all these things, right, come to pass. But keep about something joyful in your life. I don't care if you have to stay home. I don't care if you're trying to, a lot of people are going to school. They're doing new things in their life. Uh, many people are just trying to be creative. Many people are, it's just amazing how, you know, uh, like we talked about, if you have lemons, just make lemonade. When I am in the traffic on the freeway, if I have to be, I just start praying for everybody. And you know what? Those cars just all of a sudden the traffic clears up. Isn't it funny? So if the devil wants you to be unhappy in whatever your situation, just turn it around. What it, it, You know God is not going to want you to be unhappy. So if you have to be in a certain situation or whatever, you know, maybe you're living in a home and like we were meant talking about drugs the other day, just turn it around. And I want you to be joyful. Think about being joyful. Because think to yourself, okay, the devil wants me to be worried, upset, have, you know, here it is, this. No, no. We're going to turn it around in the name of Jesus Christ. That is not going to affect us. In fact, we are going to do the exact opposite response that the enemy wants us to have. Amen? Be encouraged. A day of darkness and of gloominess. Woohoo! Some days is your inside of your house dark and gloomy. A day of clouds and of thick darkness. Everybody's talking about these days of darkness are coming. Don't go out of your house. As the morning spread upon the mountains. Wow, the morning spread. You know how beautiful the sun is. A great people and a strong there hath never been light ever the like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. We're supposed to be a great people, a strong people. There's never been anybody like you. I always tell people when I counsel them on the telephone, I say, you are the only one that has your fingerprint you know you're the only one there's nobody else on the planet that has your fingerprint isn't that proof how much you are unique and there's nobody else on this planet that can do what god has gifted you in and assigned you to don't think you don't have an assignment you do i don't know what your assignment is but god does and press in and be at peace and love and joy and think to yourself, if Jesus were right beside me, what would he say to me? He would say, be at peace. Don't worry. Don't stress. For I have a wonderful plan for your life. And right now, you are coming into the fullness of it. Wow. Just think like Jesus is right beside you. That like just clears off all of the, right? All of the bad stuff. <clears throat> okay, let me see what else. There's just so much here. Um, let me see if there's another scripture here before I let you go with your day. Um, I think that's enough. Um, 
and the floors. Okay, number 24 and the floors after we talked about the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat and the vats, V-A-T-S, shall overflow with wine and oil. I'm going to take that for me this week. How about you? Are you going to take that? What do you think? Are you going to choose to have your floor be full of wheat and the vats overflowing with wine and oil? Wine of the Holy Spirit, I say. And the oil of the Holy Spirit. Wine to me represents the blood of Jesus, actually. That's why when we take communion, you know, they always, they have grape juice instead, but whatever, you know what I'm saying. Um, and ye shall eat in plenty. Thank you, Lord, for that. And be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that he hath dwelt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. Don't let anybody shame you. Don't let anybody pop your balloon. Let the Lord fill up your balloon and let it fly high for everyone to see. Amen. And it shall come to pass Afterward, that I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever whosoever, that's me, is that you, shall call on the name of the Lord, shall be delivered for in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. And the Lord hath said, and the, in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Are you his remnant? I'm claiming that I am his remnant. I pray you include yourself in that. I feel really good today, and I went to bed at 3 a.m. I looked at the clock. I was working really hard on um, a couple of new ventures that I'm doing, and I was like, oh, gosh, Lord. And I mean, I've got tons of work in front of me. I've got actually about four different things that I'm doing right now. I've got music, ministry, uh a new uh, mart that I'm art mart that I'm opening up and um, going, you know, I thought this was just for me. And the Lord says, no, I want, this is like going to be like mm, mart. We've all heard of them. So I'll let you fill in the blanks. So I'm going to be filling up the online store with art. I'm just so happy, excited. And also things that people can have as well. And so, um, if you are an artist, if you are a photographer, I've got a lot of photography, actually. And uh, so, anyway, God is putting that. That's just one thing. Then I'm also doing uh, another uh, counseling business that is uh, going to be geared towards people that are offended by Christianity. Oh yes, God has me in the enemy's camp and I'm excited about it. So I have that. I have, of course, the ministry that I do with you guys and also all of my wonderful people like uh, Lena and Sabrina that are our missionaries. Part of the donations you give to this ministry goes to Lena and Sabrina and so we had pictures of the children last time. I'm just full of, I've got so much to do. I'll never get it all done. And I love it. And, and when the nighttime comes, it's 3 a.m. I found myself, oh, oh, I think I better go to bed because I got to get up. I got to get up in the morning and it's okay. We let the Lord generate us, regenerate us, refill us, give us new ideas. Can you believe this? Don't just tell yourself, oh, I have to get, I don't feel good. Try to think on the good things the Lord says. Think on these things. 
Don't think on those things the enemy wants you to think about. You're so much better than that. You are so much better and wondrously made. I pray this has been an encouragement, and I pray that you guys let me know. If this bears witness, you know, why am I doing these videos if it doesn't bear witness? Uh, if it's just, I'm just talking. But this is what I feel he wants me to do, is to encourage all the little whosoever's like me that are out there that are saying, yes, I'm a whosoever. I'm a whosoever. I'm in that category. And my father loves me and he's looking down on me and he's taking my hand and he's saying, I'm going to take you through this day. In fact, I'm going to show you the entire week and write it down on a tablet so that you may run every time you read it. And you will accomplish what you're supposed to accomplish this week. Heck, you're already written in the Lamb's Book of Life. It's just getting better. Don't let the enemy enter your mind or your thoughts at all. And we pray for those continually. And God is moving in their lives as well. So be of good cheer. And behold, the Lord would say to you, I do a new thing, and it begins today. Thank you, Father, for that. I love you. I pray that you have a blessed week, and I will see you tomorrow. Manana.